Let's go on. This here is the partial products algorithm that some children study in fourth grade. And let me first do this multiplication using the partial products algorithm so you see what it is all about. We will multiply each digit here by each digit, basically. You know, five times eight, this times this, this times this, this times that. But we take into account the value of those digits. I'm not going to just multiply five times six. I'm going to actually multiply five times 60. Or here, this three is actually 30, right? So I will multiply 30 times 60. 30 times 8, okay? And add everything to get the final answer. I'll start here. 5 times 8 is 40. I'll write it here. Then I go 5 times this, which is 60. 5 times 60 is 300. Write it here. Then, this times this. The 3 means 30. So I will multiply 30 times 8. That's 240. And lastly, this times this, which means 30 times 60. So that's 1800. Then I add all my parts. Okay. And now I will show the same here, breaking it into parts. 35 times 68. First, I will break it into two parts, two calculations, by writing 35 as 30 and 5. So I have 30 times 68 and 5 times 68, okay? If 68 was some other thing, let's say I had 35 times a car, then that definitely is equal to 30 times a car and 5 times a car. You know, 30 cars plus 5 cars would be 35 cars, okay? And now, from here, we will break 68 into two parts and write it as 60 plus 8, okay? So here I have 60 plus 8 times 30. Here I have the same, 60 plus 8 times 5. And there's still the addition here. And now I will use the distributive property or multiplying in parts where I multiply 30 times 60 and then 30 times 8. I need to go here to write it all. 30 times 60 and 30 times 8. This plus here and then 5 times 60 and then 5 times 8. Now, I have here four multiplications. I hope you can see them. Let me get the colored marker pen. I'm going to use this color now to show you clearly. Here's one of them, one of them, one more, one more. So there's four different multiplications that we got out of this, breaking it into parts. And they are the same multiplications as we had here. 30 times 60 is the last one here. 30 times 8 is that one there. 5 times 60 is this one, and then 5 times 8 is that one, okay? And then they are added, and of course you will get the same answer. 